can remember back when I first came into the press room, my first thought was, wow. It takes all of this to make a 25 cent newspaper. Sometimes you're just amazed how a sheet of paper can float 100 yards through a press and somehow come out the end printed and folded <laughs> and on its way out the door. These things are old. The, the stamps on, the, on them are 1978. I mean, what, what is still around from 1978 these days? Right whenever you started getting cocky, thinking that you knew it all, the press would humble you. Every piece of equipment, you know, they have different personalities and you adjust to that just like if you're working with a human being. Some are cooperative, cantankerous. There's days that they're just going to throw a tantrum and not operate. You gotta know what you're doing. Because if you don't pay attention, you'll, you'll lose a hand, foot. You will literally head to toe be covered in ink. Like, if you get in the red ink, it looks like you've just, you know, killed a buffalo by hand and rolled around in it. When the press was running, I was running. Yeah, to me, it was the heart of the building. It's bittersweet. The sweet was being able to watch it grow. The bitter would be having to see what you worked so hard for go away. When you spent 35 years somewhere, it's like, you know, what do I do now? It's going to be pretty much quiet. Nothing stays these days. Everything is continually evolving and evolving and evolving. To me, it's like a horse and buggy or the milkman. Uh, times change and you have to change with it. You know, the concept of the pressman creating a newspaper on a daily basis, that's just, just fading away like an old cowboy in the sunset. <laughs> It's just the cycle of life. It's a cycle of, of industry, it's a cycle of technology. That's how we, as humans, as a nation, as a world, we progress.